shooting at Joel Osteen's mega church in Houston. We're seeing new video showing the pause. We got a shooting at the mega church of Joel Osteen Lakewood Church in Texas. This is crazy. How does the one of the biggest pastors of Texas has a school? I mean, not school, but a, a church shooting. Let's go. Chaos Sunday as the shots rang out. Police say the shooter was a 36 year old woman with a history of. Pause as they said the woman was a 36 year old shooter. That's surprising to me. No, it's not surprising to me that she was 36. It's illuminating to me that she was 36 because we know 36 is one of the special numbers. Let's go. Mental illness who had attended the church in the past year. Omar Villafranca has the latest. Pause as they called the woman a mental illness. They called the woman that was shooting up the church a mental illness. Let's go. Investigators are sifting through chilling new videos like this showing panicked churchgoers in one of the country's largest houses of worship with her son by her side. Pause. This is a 36 year old woman decided to shoot up a church in Texas. Joe Olsen's church at all means. Let's go. Police say 36 year old Genesee Moreno walked into the mega church carrying an AR style rifle when she was. Oh, it had to be an AR style rifle. You know, them AR rifles ain't nothing to play with. Let's go. Fronted by off duty officers working security, she opened fire. They were repetitive. Boom, 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 boom. The sound sent the congregation scrambling as security returned fire, killing the. Sh Pause as you gotta go um, scrambling. I mean, you start hearing bullet shots. As you start hearing, I mean, you gotta run. You gotta protect yourself as they killed the shooter here. Shooter. If it weren't for them, the number of casualties and victims would have been much higher. There is no doubt. The shooter's son appeared to be caught in the crossfire. The boy remains hospitalized in critical condition. As I said in another report, as the um, shooter's son was shot in the head, he was in critical condition. That is surprising to me that um, a child that got shot in the head, he survived. Like, I mean, this is a child. I thought he would be dead on sight, but let's go. 57-year-old man who was also struck has been released from the hospital. While investigators zero in on a motive, they revealed yesterday one of the shooter's guns had a sticker reading Palestine on it. Uh-oh, 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 here we go, here we go. One of the shooter's stickers had Palestine on it. So here's the prop. Here's the propaganda here. Here's the propaganda here with Israel and Palestine. So you see how they throw this shit in the news? I don't like when they do bullshit like this, but let's go. They also found anti-Semitic writings. Oh, 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 anti-Semitic writings. They had to do it. They just couldn't be Palestine stickers. It had to be anti-Semitic. Let's go. They believe these may be related to a dispute with her ex-husband's family. There was a familial dispute, and some of those individuals are of, uh, are Jewish. Officials said... Uh oh, uh oh. So, family are Jewish. Um, we got Palestine and Jewish in the mix. That's just a uh, that's disaster. The shooter has a history of mental illness. Oh, uh oh, oh, oh. The, men, the shooter has a history of mental illness. Are you serious? Really? Let's go. And was arrested at least six times, including. Uh oh, 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 oh. We got a breakthrough here. History of mental illness of the shooter has six prior arrests. Six prior arrests. They they didn't know this person was a um a menace, a menace to society after six prior arrests. They 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 just didn't know. They didn't have a clue. They were they were dumbfounded. Let's go. A weapons charge. Our CBS affiliate KHOU spoke to the shooter's mother-in-law, who says there were so many warning signs. Oh, they talked to the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law seen so many warning signs, but nothing was done. That's how it goes when you got agents of chaos. The chaos must prevail. It must be completed. Let's go. She was violent many times. We've asked for help from the police and received it many times, but she was still allowed to own guns. For CBS Mornings, Omar Villafranca in Texas.
And that's how it goes. That is the truth right there. You see the truth. You see the signs. You see everything. But nothing will be done. They will not try to fix the problem. They don't care about the problem. It's all about views, likes in the mainstream. Whatever, whatever, whatever must be done as above, so below will be done. This society will not get better. It will only get worse. It's your boy 405 and I'm out. Peace.